So we're going to spend the next couple of lessons configuring our application with some things that you might typically add within a normal view application, things like Tailwind CSS in this lesson. And then in the next lesson, we'll get Nav UI installed, configured, and then we'll also set up automatic imports for those components. And then in the lesson after that, we'll go over adding path aliases so that we can import our components from our project via a single path instead of having to use relative paths throughout all of our pages and components. So today we're going to focus on getting Tailwind CSS set up and configured within our application. As you might expect, this is going to be pretty much the exact same as getting it set up within just an Adonis.js application as a whole. Um, so first and foremost, let's go ahead and dive into our terminal here and let's get some dependencies installed. So let's do npm i as a dev dependency post CSS loader and then let's also get Tailwind CSS installed as well. Uh, now, one thing we will want to note is post CSS loader currently works best with Webpack Encore as version six. So let's specifically target version six of post CSS loader there and let's get those installed. Okay, next let's go ahead and run MPX Tailwind CSS init to initialize that within our project. And that's just gonna create us a Tailwind config.js file at the root of our application here. Next, let's dive into our webpack config.js file and right around line 172, let's uncomment the Encore enable post CSS loader so that post CSS will work properly within our application. And within the root of our project as well, let's go ahead and get post CSS config.js added within there. And then within here, we'll want to do module.exports equals an object. Within this object, we'll have a single property called plugins, which will be an array. And within this array, we will want to require Tailwind CSS and call that required result as a function. After that, let's dive into our Tailwind config.js file. And within this content array, we're going to want to add the active paths within our project that Tailwind CSS is going to be used. Essentially, the contents of this array are going to be passed to Purge CSS as the files that Purge CSS should look for usages of Tailwind CSS classes. And then any classes that Purge CSS finds within these particular files that we provide, it will ensure that those are included within the final CSS output. On the inverse side, any Tailwind CSS classes that it does not find used within our project, it will ensure are excluded from our final CSS output, eliminating bytes that would otherwise just be wasted download space for our users. So for the most part, we could do this all within one line here. So let's do a string that is relative to resources, star star, star dot, and then we can provide curly braces here to specify multiple different file extensions. The first one we'll want to do is edge for our server-side edge files. Then we'll do JS for JavaScript, TS for TypeScript, view for our view components. And then just in case you're using JSX for your view components, we can also add JSX and TSX there as well. And that should take care of most of the use cases that you might run into when working with Adonis.js and Vue. Lastly, let's jump into our app.css file. Let's go ahead and get rid of all of the boilerplate CSS that Adonis.js provided whenever we created our application and replace that with at tailwind base, which will serve as kind of the CSS reset for our tailwind implementation at tailwind components and at tailwind utilities. We'll give this a save. And we should be all good to go. So let's jump back into our terminal here, run npm run dev to start our server up. If we jump back into the browser here and refresh, we should see that all of the boilerplate styles are now gone. And since we are using the Tailwind CSS reset via the base, uh, our headings here are now just a normal size. Our link is just normal text looking. And we can test this out. And we can test this out just a little bit further by diving into our home.view. Let's add a class to our h1 here and let's do text red 500 let's make the text nice and red give that a save and voila our text is now red so this is now working a okay and we're good to move forward 